A special lifeline tomorrow on NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Here's Derek Fisher. Thought about a three. Here's the fake into the lane. Gives it up to Shaq. He was fouled and puts it in. The basket will count, giving him 26. How many times have we seen that befuddled look by players? They think they fouled Shaq. Watch, Derek McKee thinks, I fouled him right there. I grab him. Uh-uh. You better get both arms wrapped around him and not let him get that ball up. He is so powerful, he goes right through that. Can't complete the three-point play, and McKee rebounds. Post up once again here for Mark Jackson. Perkins will spot up for three here. There he is. He's out there. Or he's trying to get back to him. And the call goes against the Pacers. Jackson traveled trying to work his way out of the trap. That's a good trap. When you get your chest up against a guy and bump him, it's exactly what the Lakers did. Robert Ory finds Fisher. Here's his three. And that cuts it to 13. What appears that, that the Pacers have them on their heels, and all of a sudden the Lakers come up with a couple shots that just give them life going into this fourth period. Keeping it close. Miller for three at the other end. It winds up in McKee's hands. Three seconds left. Perkins backs up, lets it go, and misses it. Well, the Lakers trail by 13, entering the fourth quarter of Game 7 a week ago at home against Portland. And they rallied to win the biggest fourth quarter comeback in a Game 7 of any playoff series in NBA history. Here it's only Game 3, and they don't face elimination. They've got a 2-0 cushion. It's the Pacers trying to get back into these NBA Finals. And on the verge of doing it, back after these words from your local station, you're watching the NBA Finals on NBC. Shaquille O'Neal has owned the fourth quarter through the first two games. Reggie Miller doesn't have a fourth quarter field goal yet in the series, but he has 25 points through three in this game. Remember now, Jalen Rose sat down about the last 249 of the third period, actually got over 10 minutes of actual rest. He will come in, Reggie will get a little bit of a rest. This is his first rest of the game. So it's very important now for the Pacers to keep their offense in rhythm. Jalen Rose is going to have to come right in and score for them so they can bring Reggie back. Reggie can't sit for very long today. If the Pacers win, numerically, they'll be back in the series. But remember, Kobe Bryant's coming back eventually. And games six and seven, if they're played, will both be in Los Angeles. So it's a long hill to climb for the Pacers. But this is where they must start. When you look at the offense that uh, they have on the floor right now, the Pacers, who's going to score for them? Derek McKee lost it out of bounds. Got to be real careful with this lineup right now, Larry Bird. You've got Best out there who played pretty well in the first half, and Jalen Rose, maybe kosher, but McKee and, and uh, Perkins are not scorers. They have to really watch this close, Bob. It's Ori, and it's an 11-point game. Ori has hit all five shots he's taken, and he scored 10. A lot of dribbling here. Clock winding down. Where's he going? Up in the air to try to deliver it to McKee. It's poked away and they lose it. This is where Best gets himself in trouble. Over dribbling. Fisher misses on the run and may have done the Pacers a favor with that quick shot. Here's Jalen Rose for three. But he can't restore order for Indiana. And the Lakers have a chance to make a push here. They can get it to single digits if they score on this possession. I don't like the way the Pacers have started this quarter. If the Lakers score here, Bird might think about getting a timeout. They're out of sync right now. O'Neal out high. Harper returns it to Shaq, who spins to the bucket against Perkins, but it comes up short. Shaq is down, but Harper comes up with a steal and a quick pop. 
O'Neal then rebounds and is fouled before he can go up. Just a careless turnover by the Pacers. They finally get the uh, Lakers to miss. Larry Bird cannot like what he's seeing in his team right now. They cannot have those mental lapses that cost him in L.A. Here comes Shaq. He powers inside. Looks like uh, Crozier got a little piece of the ball. Jalen Rose running away from the basketball. Then he loses his shoe. And the uh, foul on Shaquille O'Neal as he will shoot two free throws. He's now two of seven in this game. The Lakers have scored seven unanswered points. They were down by 18. They now trail by 11. Missed them both. Not close. And what that does, that sets up the hack -a shack If he's not going to make them, look for Bird to foul him. But do you foul him with a substantial lead? If, if you're not scoring down here, you've got to be very careful. He makes one out of two. You know, they're going to chip into the lead. You've got to score. And right now, the Pacers, when I talked about to start this quarter, this lineup out that they have right now is struggling. Best missed. Ori comes back, gives it up to Shaq, but an offensive foul. As Ori delivered the pass, he's called for the charge. A timeout with 9.54 to play in the fourth. The Pacers trail the series 2-0 and lead the game by 11. series that Phil Jackson wants Derek Fisher to play against Travis Best and they've gotten themselves out of sync here and this one happens now watch this as Travis Best comes down the floor to see how much time goes up the clock while he dribbles the basketball everybody's sort of standing around he finally has to attack against the clock gets himself caught up in the air and he turns the ball over, dribbled the ball 26 times before he turned it over. He's got to do something quickly with it. And right now, a lot of standing around. They've got to attack. Best against Fisher. Gives it up to Rose, who's guarded by Fox. Reggie Miller back on the floor, but it's best for three. And he got a great look at it and put it down. But did you see how quickly they got into their offense? Rose got it. Best uh, faded away and hit the outside jump shot. That's nice. Building the lead back to 14. Harper, can he answer? He hits a three at the other end. Ron Harper, you know, shot the three at about 30% during the regular season. Going into today's game, he hit four out of eight. He was shooting 50% from the three-point line. He scored nine in this game, had a season high of 21 in game two. Regular season or postseason, that was his high. Here's Jalen Rose, shot clock down to six. His pass goes through Crozier's hands, and it's picked up by Harper. And he promptly loses it to best. Somebody's got to stay back with Harper here. He's all alone. Sam Perkins with the fake on Ori. Gives it up to Crozier for the dunk. That's very nice. Playing four on five right there because Hartman was out of the play. You drive that ball to the basket. Shaq comes over. You get a dunk. Once again, they stem the tie. They lead by 13. Harper, another three. Not this time.